clearly this was my first time trying to split a ball into 250 grams because not only do they not match but they're not 50 grams each so good morning vlogmas oh gosh i look a mess that's okay i'm about to do my makeup i've just put my sun cream on so i'm just waiting for it to sink in the christmas jumpers are out for the first time this year you know what that means Christmas is almost here and um, for those that didn't join me last year you will not know but I have an array of Christmas jumpers and um, you will see them all throughout this month. You're welcome. Hey Mary! Hello! It's Merry Christmas! We're in a car, I look a bit more presentable now. Makeup is on. Mario is driving. Um, we are off to, moving the camera out of his way, Sherwood because we're going to go and get ourselves some brunch before we go and pick up a tree. Our Christmas tree. Not just any random tree, that would be strange. Cool, good input, Mario. Sorry, I'm actually driving. <laughs> you was trying to make me drive to Sherwood, but parking around there is not fun and I do not feel confident enough doing that yet, so a hard pass. My breakfast isn't enough for some people. This guy. <laughs> We're in a place called the Little Brick House. Everyone has left now, so I can talk freely. Um, and it's really tasty. It's in Sherwood, if you're around. It's just in an old storage unit, which is pretty cool. Link it in the comments. Nope. Link it in the description box. All right, YouTube. Mm -hmm. But yeah, very tasty. Tea good, coffee good? Mm-hmm. I think it's half post coffee. Mm hmm mm hmm And Tough Mary's Bread, which is where Mario works, so you know it's good. Mm -hmm. It's quite a nice tree. It's quite a nice tree. Good first pick. Oh. You found that tree. I have to keep talking over it because of the copyright music. This was the first tree we looked at and picked up and then we looked at loads of others and we've gone back to the first tree. Classicers. We're those people now. It's super cold today. Mm. Um, so the tree is in the car and we're now going to have a look around IKEA for decorations. I Mary. need to wash my hands. Cool, so we need to find a sink for Mary to wash his hands in. He is so passionately expressed. <laughs> but we're off to look at Christmas things in IKEA. Yeah. IKEA. We're in Ikea <laughs> Buy napkins and candles you don't need it. Ikea had a disappointing array of decorations As in, it barely had any So now we're going to Wilco's Magical, magical Wilco's I don't even know if I got it in shot um, Non-Brits won't know what Wilco's is But it's a magical place It's not really, it's just a shop that's got everything in Cute, yeah, actually quite cute. The yarn ball. Yarn ball. Yarn ball. We went to Wilco's to buy tree decorations. Mary, what did we buy? A frying pan. <laughs> oh, we're so good. We decided to have a look and see what decorations we already had. And then make a plan from there. It's probably wisest. But this one likes to change the colour theme of the tree. Whereas I grew up with a chaos tree. So this one likes colour coordination. We are now home and tidying the living room and getting it ready for the arrival of the tree which will go here next to my spin dryer keeping it company we have some decorations Ooh, you may recognize these from last year and then the christmas mugs i am most excited for the christmas mugs because i love the penguin mug that i got from my parents last year look how cool this picture is we got it, oh, 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 got it as a wedding gift and I love it so much. I don't know who it's by, but it's just oh, super cute. The tree base! Ba, 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 ba. You didn't knock on the door to ask permission from the spiders if you could go down there. What's the spiders on here? Ah, no! 
We have a treat. <laughs> so Mario bought this knife because he decided he wanted to whittle. He has whittled once. I just whittled the whole tree. He claims whittle he just... Whittle while you work. <whistles> whistle while you work. Yeah, I know, I got it. This is our tree, the one that we chose. We've gone with the same decorations as we had last year. Including this little sheep. And this little angel. And this little sock. And then the dried goodies. I think we need something for the top of the tree this year. We didn't have anything last year. I think we need just needs a bit more. It looks, looks a bit sparse. We can go find some. Have you had a nice festive day? It's not finished. So far? Yes. Look how festive, how delightful. Um, we are going to make some Christmas biscuits. What biscuits are we making, Mario? Speculos. Speculos. I'm trying anyway. Um, we've never made them before, so we need to nip to a supermarket to get some ingredients that we do not have. We have most ingredients. We could make most things, but sadly, we can't make speculos without golden syrup. So go on syrup, we shall get. So my shop update today is in two minutes and I've not had a shop update in such a long time. I'm super nervous that I've become irrelevant. Everyone's forgotten about me, no one will buy anything. And then I can't buy Christmas presents for anyone. So that's my current thought process that's happening in my brain right now. It's a little stressful. Clearly this was my first time trying to split a ball into 250 grams because not only do they not match but they're not 50 grams each so. <sighs> okay, I worked it out. There was just the green was the extra colour and then it matches. And I don't need a full 50 grams to make a sock. So NBD. NBD. I think I should hopefully be fine. But now I need to learn how to cast on two at a time to up socks. Unless I just do cuff down and deal with it. And also I'm thinking maybe one stripe a day won't be enough to get a sock at the end. Maybe I should do two stripes a day because they seem like quite narrow stripes. I don't know. I don't know. I'm new to all this. Worked out. Cuff down after thought heel. That makes the most sense. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Oop, oop. Mario's making biscuits. For a baker, he doesn't do much baking at home, but that's probably because why would you want to do what you do at work when you're at home? I feel like it's a lot of filming of my face. And um, some of the perks of tidying the house is finding the mulled wine. So guess what we're having this evening? Mulled wine. Oh, good gosh, I'm, that was a concerning thing. to the delightful evening light. I've only just put the big light on. You may have noticed those last few clips were quite dark. That's because Mario doesn't like the big light. And my light here has gone because of the tree. I might have to bring it back because there's no way I can sit in darkness and bead weave. That is not how I roll. Um, it's not worth the eye strain. But quite a productive festive day. We watched The Grinch and then we watched, we started to watch The Irishman on Netflix, but it's quite long and I fell asleep. Uh, I napped for a short while. Far too late, it was far too late to nap. Mary's just gone to bed, it's 10 o'clock-ish. Um, but he was tired, so I was like, just go to bed. Just go to bed. Um, and yeah, 
we started to watch the Christmas edition of Sh uh, Sugar Rush on Netflix and then I have had to stop it to send Mary to bed. That was my knee against the sofa, that wasn't anything else. I could do it again. Knee against the sofa. Um, I've successfully knit the heel to my sock, so we have a heel. I'm now decreasing after the heel and um, then I'm onto the foot. And then I've got another pair of socks done. I should be knitting my sleeve. Um, that's what I should be knitting of my uh, garden gate sweater that I am um, that I have in the works. It's down here. It was next to me. I just didn't fancy it today. Just needed some nice knitting. Um, but yes, I get to cast on my Whamageddon socks tomorrow, and then hopefully I don't hear last Christmas. Um, we'll see how that goes. Tomorrow we're going to Chatsworth House, which is a large grand house. Um, I went last year, or we went last year, with my family. It's meant to be for my mum's birthday, but sadly my mum was ill, so she didn't come with us. Um, but they always decorate the grand house, so it looks beautiful. But we have not got tickets to look around the house, but there is a Christmas market on, and that ends on Tuesday. So we're going to go and look around the Christmas market um, tomorrow, which should be quite nice. A bit of an earlier start for a Sunday. Um, not an early start, but an earlier start. Although saying that, I woke up this morning at 10 past nine, so what do I know? Um, but yes, we are going with my sister and her boyfriend, and we get picked up at nine o'clock tomorrow morning to drive to Chatsworth House to look around the Christmas market. And then in the evening, um, Charlotte and I are going to go and see um, the 70s glam rock band, The Sweet, who are playing at Rescue Rooms in Nottingham. So that is where we're gonna be. I think mario has got some friends coming around to uh, play board games, and we're out going to see a, a 70s rock band, who are probably past it, but thought it would be fun. So good times all round. Um, I have terrible hat hair and a shiny face for days. Whew. Yeah, I had a proper freak out in the car earlier. It was slightly embarrassing. So we were, drove to Sherwood and then um, I said I would drive to Ikea. So then we pulled out and I was driving around and I just, Mario pointed out that I ignored the sat nav and had gone straight on instead of turn off and then I just kind of snapped at him a little bit because narrow streets, cars parked on either side, cars coming down, it's not a fun time. I wasn't wearing the shoes that I have always drive in for some reason. I forgot that I think I think I forgot I was meant to be driving at some point. Um and just had my boots on which quite chunky, quite a chunky sole. So just probably freaked out and uh had a bit of a meltdown and then I had to stop on a hill and then couldn't go, couldn't go, couldn't go. Um, so then Mario and I had to swap places and I just got a bit embarrassed because there was a van behind. I got super embarrassed and just had a bit of a cry. It was a really good time. Just being real. So that should be really fun for my upcoming driving test. I wasn't going to tell you lot when it was but I kind of already hinted that it's during Vlogmas, so. I wasn't gonna say anything in case I fail. Um, but yeah, I think yesterday's driving lesson didn't instill me with a lot of confidence. Um, he, my driving instructor, kept telling me the things that I was doing wrong, which is fine. He And he said himself he was being harsh, and that's fine, because, you know, my test is coming up. And um, I don't respond well to that. I kind of, I am, I was the person that when I had piano lessons, if some people can do the same thing over and over again and get better, but um, if I, for example, could didn't know my scales or something, or a piece of music, my piano teacher would make me practice that piece of music um, until I got it. But unfortunately, the more I did it, the more frustrated I got, and the um, worse I got. So yeah, 
yesterday's driving lesson did not instill me with a lot of confidence which then completely knocked my confidence for today which then means that I completely fluffed it whilst driving. I've never had a meltdown and cried while driving before, ever. And today was my day. So thank you, Brain, for that. I really appreciate it. But my makeup didn't go everywhere, which I'm quite impressed with. I mean, I'm very shiny now because it's end of the day and I have not blotted my face. But um, my eyeshadow and eyeliner and such stayed in place. So clearly I've done something right. Who is ready for a month of Hannah oversharing to the camera? because that's essentially what last year's Vlogmas turned into. So I guess we're getting an early start in on that one. Oh, the picture that was hanging up that I showed you earlier, because we rent this house, we don't own the house. Um, we can't really put any holes in walls or anything to hang up pictures. So we were using contact strips, which are um, like, they're meant to be super sticky and then you can remove them. We've got them for the pictures up on the wall over there. Um, but these ones were contact strips with a hook and I think because it was positioned above the radiator maybe the heat melted the glue a little, anyway the picture fell off um, and the bottom of the frame is slightly dented but nothing else broke so that is the good news. It's just unfortunate that the, uh, that the bottom of the frame got dented and it can't live up there anymore because that was the perfect spot for it. Oh, it just needs two hooks. Maybe it needs two hooks to split the weight a bit more. That was also a, an idea. So, um, thank you all so much to everyone who shopped in my shop update. After sharing with you that I was worried that I'd become irrelevant and no one would want to buy anything and blah, blah, blah. Which is kind of what happens every time I do a shop update. I kind of freak out that no one will buy anything. And then people do and it's fantastic. Um, yeah, stuff sold a lot. So thank you so much. Um, I can pay rent. <laughs> I mean, it it never gets to that serious. I'm really sensible with money. It never gets to that serious stage. But um, yeah, no, I was I was I was just worried because everything in the world of social media moves so fast, and I went for ages without posting. And I went for ages without doing shop update, and I went for ages without talking about knitting, and I was worried that all of a sudden I'd become irrelevant and that no one would buy anything. But you've all bought stuff, and um, it means so much to me. So Monday's job, and maybe tomorrow afternoon's job, is to, tomorrow afternoon's job might be get everything ready to package, and then um, Monday's job is to package and post everything and then I want I really want to try and do a shop update for next Saturday as well um, I thought that people were done with Christmas stitch markers but today has shown that people are not done with Christmas stitch markers so I will try and do a f make a few more um, Christmassy stitch markers but anyway that's enough rambling this video has now gone on for way too long uh, sorry I just like doing an end of day roundup it's just quite nice and I feel like I can't do an end of day roundup when Mario is there, but he's not there, so I can do an end of day roundup now. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more Vlogmas and also podcasts. Uh, feel free to check out yesterday's podcast if you haven't seen it yet. That's Friday's podcast, so that's now the day before yesterday's by the time that this has been uploaded. It's very confusing. Time. Time is but a mirage. Very excited to open my first day of my Bird and Blend advent calendar. That should be super exciting. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in tomorrow's video. Bye.